Minister, you previously said that many NGOs with your government funds are engaged in advocacy, and we know that these groups often engage in political campaigning to support uh, your government's stated goals. For example, your government funds INR, which explicitly campaigns for hate speech laws. So is it really right that you should be giving taxpayer money to activists who promote controversial political ideas? So the promotion uh, of uh, political debate uh, within a, uh, a democracy uh, is, I think, an important function. Uh, and I have to say, in my experience of us funding NGOs uh, and supporting them and the money that they need to continue with their advocacy services, they do need that support in order to make the case for the uh, uh, important parts of our society that they are aiming to champion. Uh, and, and, and many, many, many times uh, those advocates will use funding that is available to them that to make arguments and to make the case uh, for their own interests in such a way that can occasionally be critical of government. And uh, that is part of having a vibrant NGO sector within a democracy. So uh, I do believe the way in which we support a diverse set of organisations is appropriate and uh, vibrant debate uh, on sensitive matters within a democracy is, I believe, intrinsically important. And uh, I believe our support of those organisations is really appropriate. But do you accept that it's wrong that somebody should be paying through their taxes to support an organisation which is campaigning on issues that they may fundamentally oppose? There are Irish citizens who are vehemently opposed to, taking the example I mentioned earlier, the hate speech bill, but who their money is being used to advocate for a policy that, that they're against. How, how is that democratic? I, I think it's a step too far to say the Irish public are vehemently against Something well, like well the, I'm, I'm something, talking about something. individuals. Oh, let, let, let me I'm, just finish off. I think you're taking it a step too far to say that the Irish public are vehemently against the legislation in relation to uh, speech and use of speech in such a way that could be conducive to hate crime. I see no evidence of that. Uh, what I know the Irish public are supportive of is um, vibrant debate and debate about issues that are important in politics and society. And sometimes that can come at a price, and sometimes some of that price is paid for by the taxpayer. And that tone of debate, and occasionally the uh, sensitivity around it, is a price worth paying for having healthy debate in a democracy.